Welcome to StreetGangs.com, SGTV. We are in Westwood, Los Angeles, California at the UCLA Medical Center where Michael Jackson expired earlier today from cardiac arrest. Helicopter came in just moments ago and flew his body to the LA County Coroner's Office in downtown Los Angeles. And crowds are still around lending their support to Michael Jackson, his family and friends. And we're going to see if we can get some reactions from some of the people out here. We're still in shock. It hasn't hit us yet at all. Like, we're trying to celebrate his life in a happy way before it hits us and we're really sad. <laughs> As soon as we found out the news, me and my roommates, we came from Orange County, made shirts on the way as we were driving here on the 405 just to celebrate his life. What were you doing when you found out the news? I was actually driving home on the freeway and my girlfriend texted me saying that Michael Jackson died. And I was like, there is no way, there is no way. So I pull over on the side of the road and look on CNN.com on my phone and there it was there. You look like when Michael Jackson's biggest hits was out, he was probably in diapers. I, I was. I've, I've, I've loved Michael Jackson since the day I came to this country. That's what I knew. Michael Jackson and Ninja Turtles were my thing. Now you probably remember Michael Jackson when he was with the Jackson Fives. Oh man, down the road with the Jackson Five, 1969. Now, what did you think about his life? He lived it through the media and was going through all the personal issues. Well, I kind of didn't pay too much attention to that. I was just a fan and just wanted him to keep putting out music. And uh, like I said, I've been a fan since first concert was 1972, and I've been a fan since. How do you think he's going to be remembered as an artist? Greatest of all time. All time. Nobody even come close. Nobody can sing. You can't dance like that. Song can sing, song can't dance. Song can dance, song can't sing. But Michael Jackson put the whole package together. And when you listen to his album, it was great. And when you went to the concert, much, much, much better. Even when he was 10, 11 years old. The guy was bad. The guy was bad. I got a CNN news report alert on my phone. It completely surprised me out of the blue, saying that he had had a, a heart attack at first. And then subsequently, more information came in. They said he had died, then he was in a coma, and then they confirmed the death on the AP. And the entire time, I'm just blowing up with tears. I couldn't believe it. It, it was something I didn't, I didn't know how to prepare for. It feels like the death of a loved one because of how connected I've been to his music. I can mark milestones in my life based on where he was, where the music was at the time. And it's just all very sad. It's very, very sad. shocked man right now I'm shocked this is kind of surreal because like what he meant to like the world population like you're talking about somebody that was just like kind of big man you know it was like it doesn't I don't even feel like Mike's dead because Mike was only 50 years old and like he's kind of immortal to us in a, in a metaphysical way and now that he's passed on I'm just shocked right now I'm just shocked man. so I'm just trying to mourn and I know I'm gonna cry later but I feel like this is a family member like I feel betrayed
So you got pretty much his whole discography on this poster. That's right. Um, what's your favorite album from Michael Jackson? Uh, well, I mean, I like all his albums. and He's a king of pop. I love his, all his work. But one of the best songs that I really, really love to enjoy is Thriller. What's your reaction that he died at such a young age? It caught me off guard. I think it caught a lot of people off guard around here. You know, take a look around. You got people all over the world coming over here because of that. People don't want to believe it. Everybody's surprised. Everybody's uh, been talking about they wish they wake up. This is just a bad dream to everybody. But, of course, it's reality. And sometimes it's fair, sometimes it's not. And this time, they took somebody that's really valuable from the world. Ever be any type of entertainer that can match his his caliber? Nope. I think him, Elvis, Beatles in their heyday. That's about it. I think we've seen the last of the great entertainers. That's some great company to be with. Um, I mean, do you see any of these young singers today, Justin Timberlake, Usher, ever them uh, achieving that type of status? When I see Usher, Neo, uh, Chris Brown until he did his thing with Rihanna, but uh, when I see people like them, I see mirrors of the great one. We've been out here at UCLA Medical Center for the last several hours, and the crowd still continue to come to memorialize Michael Jackson, considered one of the greatest entertainers of all time. We're going to head on out of here, but uh, the people still keep coming out here to support, and may Michael Jackson rest in peace. Michael Jackson is the king of pop.